The winner of this year's Nobel Prize in Literature has just been announced to much surprise and a social media whirlwind. It wasn't Murakami or Wo Thiang Oh who made the cut, but singer-songwriter Bob Dylan for having created new poetic expressions within the great American song tradition. And here is the Nobel Permanent Secretary Sarah Danius as she made the announcement. The Nobel Prize in Literature for 2016 is awarded to Bob Dylan for having created new poetic expressions within the great American song tradition. To evaluate the award, we have international best-selling author and professor at University of Warwick, David Van. David Van, thank you for joining us. This is quite a historical moment and a controversial pick, isn't it? It is. Um, I, I think everyone's scratching their heads. I mean, I, I love Bob Dylan. I've been listening to his music since I was in high school and singing his songs. Uh, partly because he has such an identifiable and unique voice uh, in Tambourine Man, for instance. Hey, Mr. Tambourine Man, sing a song for me. In the jingle, jangle morning, I'll come following you. You know, I can't sound like Dylan, but I want to try because he has such a great voice. Who wouldn't want to try? You know, so it's kind of fun. I, I, at, at first, uh, hearing the, the pick sounds kind of wonderful, maybe. Uh, but then it seems very strange because what book am I supposed to read of Dylan's? Uh, you know, it's a literature prize. What, what great book am I going to go out there and read? Great rendition there, by the way. The permanent secretary of the Swedish Academy, Sarah Danius, compared Dylan's work to the greats like Homer and Sappho, who also created poetry to be performed. Most do view Dylan as a musician. However, he is published. What's your opinion? I think that his lyrics definitely are poetic. And together, his songs can be taken as a, a, a body of work of, a work of poetry, you know, a lifelong work. Um, he also has an influence on quite a few writers. Joyce Carol Oates has a very famous short story called Where Are You Going, Where Have You Been? that uses lyr lyrics from a Dylan poem, our song. Uh, but she has 40 works that she's written, 40 books, and I don't think that can be compared. I, I translate from Latin and Old English, and I don't think he can be compared to those older poets either. He's not creating that kind of work. It's not great literary work. It's uh, poetic at times, and it's wonderful, but it doesn't uh, stand the test of, of literary greatness, in, in my opinion. I, I don't think it comes anywhere close. I see. How are literary circles reacting? Is there criticism, and how do you think this will go down in the history of the award? I think that all authors worldwide are going to be tremendously disappointed by this award. I think that uh, someone like uh, the Syrian poet Adonis would have been a great and timely pick. I think if it was going to go to an American uh, author, there are certainly others um, that, that they could have picked a, ahead of uh, Bob Dylan. So I think that it's, it's the whole literary community that will be disappointed. It's not just authors. It's also booksellers who expect to sell a lot of copies after the Nobel Prize. And what are they supposed to sell? All he has is an autobiography, and then he has songs. Uh, there's no great work that we can read. I mean, shouldn't a literary prize encourage reading in a culture where so much has been taken over by music and TV and movies and so few people read books anymore? Shouldn't the world's greatest literary prize be encouraging us to read more? On a different note, Dylan is the first American to win the Nobel Prize for Literature since 1993. In 2008, then permanent secretary of the Nobel Prize jury said that the US is too isolated, too insular, they don't translate enough and don't really participate in the big dialogue of literature. As a writer yourself, what do you think of those comments? Well, they're certainly right that when I go to France, it's amazing how much they've translated from all over the world. They're really interested in the entire world's literature. They're the best uh, country for a book, the best home for a book. I'm so impressed, uh, generally by Europe and especially by France. Uh, and I wish that the U.S. did have a, a greater reading culture. We have great universities and a lot of writers, uh, but we don't have a lot of readers, and we don't look outside ourselves enough. We don't translate enough. All of that's absolutely true. But it doesn't change the fact that there are a lot of great American writers. And if they were going to choose one for the first time in 23 years, they, they could have picked Joyce Carol Oates or Don DeLillo, some of the favorites. Or they could have picked my favorite, Cormac McCarthy. I think his novel, Blood Meridian, really is the greatest novel ever written in English. 
I, I think it's an incredible novel, and, and his work uh, together is amazing. And I, it would just be great to see his work honored with that prize, or any of a, a list of another 50 writers that I would have put ahead of, of Dylan. So, so it's a great disappointment for American literature in that way, to not be recognized for 23 years, and then to be recognized for a singer-songwriter who, who doesn't have any literary works. David Devan, thank you very much for sharing your thoughts with us.